In this lesson, we're going to be speaking about the quadrant diagram like we have before in previous lessons. However, in those lessons we used degrees, whereas now we're going to be using radians. You know, pi over 4, 3 pi over 2. You've probably seen your teacher speaking about this. So there's a difference between degrees and radians. They're different ways of measuring. So this lesson is going to be all about the quadrant diagram, however, using radians. So, our first example is pi over 4. So when you see this, what I want you to do is the following. I want you to draw your x and y like that, okay? Then I want you to realize that this number at the bottom is a 4. So I want you to break this top part into 4 equal parts. So, there and there. You see, because now we have 1, 2, 3, 4 parts. Okay, now... This is a 1 in the front, right? So it's 1 over 4. So that means we are going to be looking at, we're going to go 1 out of the 4 ways. So remember, we always start here at 0. And this, by the way, is um, pi over 2. This is pi. This is 3 over 2 pi. And this is 2 pi. OK, so when you watch the video on degrees, we always go this way. We're going to do the same now. So you're going to go 1 out of the 4. So 1 out of the 4, so you're going to go up to there. Okay, and that's it. You're going to um, make a little line. And so this angle here is going to be pi over 4, just like that. Now let's, let's carry on. Now we have 7 over 4. So the number at the bottom is a 4. So I want you to break the top part up into 4 equal parts. And we're going to have to do the same at the bottom because this one's going to be 7 over 4. Okay, so we're going to go 7 of those 4 parts. So we're going to go 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There we go. Draw a line. You can get rid of the dotted lines now. Eventually you won't need to do that anymore. It's just for practice. And so that is what we have. Once again, this is called the initial. And this is called the terminal. Okay, let's keep practicing. So now we have 14 over 6. So you're going to break the top part up into 6 parts now. So you're going to do this and that and then like this and like that. Okay, so that is going to be um, six parts at the top, but then we'd have to do the same at the bottom because 14 is going to be quite a lot. So let's just extend. Uh, come on. I'm just trying to extend this line and then this one and then that one. And then that one. Okay, so we're going to do 14 of those. Wow, that's a lot. So one, so so um, if you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So there we are. We can then draw the line going up. And so that is where that angle would be. It would be, um, or well, later on when we look at reference angles, it would be that part there. But yeah, so that's how we draw that one. Let's carry on. This is 8 over 3. So I want you to make three little parts now at the top. So how would you do that? Well, this won't be one of them, only the dotted lines. Whereas in the previous example, I was actually assuming that that was one of the dotted lines. Same over here. That was one of the dotted lines. And over here. That was one of the dotted lines. But in this one, this one that we're busy with now, it won't be. So to make three parts, it would be there and there. But don't count this as one of the parts. So there's the first part. Here's the second part. And here's the third part. Okay. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. There. There. Um, now that's not going to be enough, but it's fine. We can just go round and round and round. So we'll start here. Now, up to there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it's about here. So it would be somewhere like that. Now we're going to do negative. Okay, we've done this before when we were looking at degrees. But now you're just going to go this way. But once again, you have to break the top and bottom into three parts. So when you do three parts, you can't use this as one of the parts. So it would be something like there and there. Although that doesn't look so equal. I mean, it doesn't really matter. But some of you watching might be like, yeah, but bro, that doesn't even look equal, bro. OK, 
Okay, so maybe like there and there. So there's the first part. Okay, wait, let me do the top as well. So, one. Oh, but the only one has to go two out of three. So, one, two. So here we are in this quadrant here. So we can go up to there, draw a line. And so that's what that one would look like. Oh, I haven't been naming the quadrants. Um, well, this was quadrant one. This was quadrant number four. This is quadrant number one, where it lands up. This is quadrant number two. This is quadrant number three. And this one we need to do. Okay, so now we need to break it up into five parts. So, okay, so to make five parts, you're not going to use this part over here. So, yeah, to make five parts, once again, we won't be able to use that part. So, five parts would typically be something like there and there and then there and there. So, yeah, we have one, two, three. Oh, no, that doesn't count up to there, sorry. Up to there, that's three. Up to there, that's four. And there's five parts, okay? This is just to give you a better idea of what these things look like. Um, so, but now we need to do the top as well. So let's just extend these lines. Okay, so we're going to go back six parts. So one, two, three, four, five, six. This just helps us to work out which quadrant we are in, to be honest. So it would be this one. So we can do that. And we can do that. So we land up in quadrants number two. Okay, so here we're going to go negative 11 over 4 pi. So we're going to break our quadrants up into four parts. That's easy. So that's just there and there. Because now we can use this line as one of them. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, we can even put a dotted line like that if you wanted to. But now we're going to do it at the bottom as well. Because we're going to be using 11. Okay, so we're going to be going negative. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Well, let's do that better. So that was eight, ah, come on. That was eight parts, nine, 10, and 11. See, so this is just to help us realize, okay, so we're definitely gonna be in quadrant three. Okay, so now we're gonna break it up into three parts. So when you break up into three parts, you're not gonna use this as one of the segment parts. So you're gonna go like this and like that. So you see at the top here, we've got one, that's two, and three parts. Okay, so we're going to go negative 7. So that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we are definitely going to be in quadrant number 4. And so here is our last example. So it's going to be negative 4 pi over 3. So I'm going to make three quadrants. So to do that, once again, I'm going to go there and there. I'm not going to use this as one of them. Okay, wait, that's a little bit. The spacing doesn't look so great like there, like there, that looks better, and there, and there. Okay, so if we're going to go negative 4, so we're going to go 1, 2, remember we're not counting this as one of them, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, so we're definitely going to be in quadrant number 2, and then you can just do that.